Our tale begins amidst the post-World War I era, where the world was undergoing rapid changes, and the automotive industry was no exception. Enter the Lincoln Motor Company, founded in 1917 by Henry Leland, a pioneer who had previously played a significant role in establishing Cadillac. Leland's vision was clear, to create a luxury automobile that would set new standards in design, craftsmanship, and performance. In 1920, the first whispers of this vision materialized with the introduction of the Lincoln Model L series. It wasn't just a car, it was a statement, a proclamation that luxury and innovation were now part of the automotive lexicon. The L series, with its V8 engine, marked the beginning of Lincoln's commitment to delivering a driving experience that transcended the ordinary. As the 1920s roared in, so did the Lincoln L series, evolving and adapting to the changing times. In 1921, the L series underwent a significant upgrade with the introduction of the Model L, a refined and powerful machine that epitomized the spirit of the Jazz Age. With its elegant design, precision engineering, and a wealth of luxurious features, the Model L captured the imagination of the elite. The L series was more than just a car, it was a symbol of affluence, an embodiment of the roaring prosperity of the era. The introduction of the custom-bodied Lincoln L-Series cars by coach builders added a bespoke touch, further solidifying Lincoln's status as a purveyor of luxury. The Great Depression cast a long shadow over the 1930s, challenging industries to adapt or succumb to economic turmoil. Lincoln faced this challenge head-on, introducing the L-Series 1931 models that defied the economic gloom. The V8 engine, now a hallmark of the L-Series, continued to set Lincoln apart in terms of performance. Lincoln's response to the economic downturn wasn't just survival, it was innovation. The introduction of the first V12 engine in 1932 showcased a commitment to technical excellence, even in the face of adversity. The L-Series became a beacon of resilience, navigating the depression with a blend of elegance and engineering prowess. As World War II erupted, the automotive industry pivoted to support the war effort. The production of civilian vehicles including the Lincoln L-Series came to a temporary halt as factories were repurposed for wartime manufacturing. The hiatus however did not diminish the legacy of the L-Series, instead it highlighted its adaptability and the indomitable spirit that would define Lincoln in the post-war era. With the war's end a new chapter unfolded for the Lincoln L-Series. The 1946 models signaled a return to elegance with sleeker designs and refined features. The L-Series once again became the epitome of post-war prosperity, capturing the imagination of a generation eager to embrace the luxuries that had been on hold during the war years. In 1948, the introduction of the Cosmopolitan model brought a touch of modernity to the L-Series lineup, featuring innovative design elements that hinted at the evolving aesthetic sensibilities of the time. The post-war years were a renaissance for the L-Series, proving that luxury could not be extinguished even in the darkest times. The 1950s ushered in a new era of technological advancements, and the Lincoln L-Series once again embraced innovation. In 1952, the L-Series saw the introduction of power brakes and power steering, ushering in a new era of driving comfort and control. The technological prowess of the L-Series wasn't just about luxury, it was about making every journey a seamless and enjoyable experience. The incorporation of automatic transmission in 1950 further solidified Lincoln's commitment to providing not just a mode of transportation, but a sophisticated and technologically advanced driving experience. The L-Series was no longer just a luxury car, it was a testament to Lincoln's dedication to staying at the forefront of automotive technology. As the 1950s drew to a close, the Lincoln L-Series faced both challenges and opportunities. The 1956 Continental Mark II, while not technically part of the L-Series, was a pivotal moment in Lincoln's history. It showcased a departure from the traditional L-Series nomenclature but retained the commitment to luxury and craftsmanship. The Continental Mark II was a precursor to the eventual transition away from the L-Series, marking the end of an era. The Continental Mark III introduced in 1958 represented the formal conclusion of the L-Series. It was more than just a successor, it was a bridge to a new era for Lincoln. The L-Series had left an indelible mark on the automotive landscape, and as it gracefully bowed out, it paved the way for Lincoln's continued evolution. The Lincoln L-Series wasn't merely a collection of cars, it was a narrative of luxury, innovation and resilience. It spanned decades, navigating the changing tides of history with poise and adaptability. 
from its origins in the aftermath of World War I to the technological advancements of the 1950s, the L-Series embodied the spirit of its time. While the L-Series formally concluded, its legacy lived on in the DNA of Lincoln. The commitment to luxury, performance and technological innovation became a hallmark of the Lincoln brand, evolving with the times yet rooted in the principles established by the L-Series. The story of the Lincoln L-Series was not just a tale of automobiles. It was a chronicle of a brand's journey through the chapters of automotive history, leaving an enduring impact on the roads it traversed and the hearts it captured.